All right, here we go. We finally picked up some stuff on the marketplace. Prices have been real high, but recently found a couple good deals. This one, we was after the deck is toast. So we was after the motor. The uh, gentleman we bought this stuff from, he had three push mowers. Was it three push mowers? An edger and a blower for next to nothing. They was sitting around in his way. They've obviously been sitting a long time. You can see the deck on this one. It's toast. The what I'm after is the engine itself. So hopefully, hopefully it runs. This this deck is trash. I mean, it's. Let's see. It shove holes right through it. It's obviously been sitting a long time out in the weather. Uh, apparently, I mean, you can see the tank there. I'll show you the tank. The surface of that tank. Crazy, right? But it's got oil in it. Uh, it's got a little bit of liquid in the fuel tank. Kind of resembles the smell of gas. So I'm hoping it runs. If it runs, <clears throat> I have another deck. That's turned over. Seems like it's got compression. Man, it needs cleaned. So, like the plier, the primer's blowed out. But uh, I just want to see if we we'll even attempt. Let's start fluid. I usually don't use starting fluid. I'm not a big fan of it. For stuff like this, but let's see. See if we got some fire. Feel the rocket. Going, buddy. Good lord. Well, we got fire and we got smoke. So, next step is we're going to take and, uh, Try to see if we can do something with this carburetor and uh, get some tools. We'll yank the bowl off and make sure they're floating and everything's still good. So now we got, you know, we got spark, tried to run. So it's definitely been a while. Dang, look at that muffler. All the funk it just came out of there. So this thing, when it fires up, it's probably going to be a smoke machine. All right, we'll get some tools, get the carburetor apart, at least get the bowl off. And, uh, we can unhook the line, see what we can get the drain out of the tank. Well, this old craftsman has seen better days. <clears throat> so I got the, got the crack loose. I'll get it back on there. The gas is definitely way old. You see some coming out there. But uh, definitely like varnish. So the trick here, get this out, is uh, if I can get it off without busting that O-ring, I'm hoping. <clears throat> you know, I don't think I have, I haven't messed with any of these push motors in quite a while. I did have some stuff on hand for them. <laughs> it ain't clogged, that's a plus. But uh, it's been so long, I don't know if I still do or not. She's on there. There we go. Come on. Yeah, yeah it seals pretty head. Excuse me, it's not broke. No, it is now. But as you can see, it's definitely trash. Inside of the bowl needs cleaned up. Alright. Needle and everything moves, so you get some of this plastic off. We'll see what we got going on here. Right, so you got a couple different ways you can get this carburetor off. <clears throat> you 
you need to take the carburetor itself, nut and bolt. On the back side, it's harder. You can get to it, but it's hard to get to it. It's a nut and bolt. Or you take these two out of the muffler, and you got a lower one here. Behind the muffler is another one. You get the whole intake system. You can just take it off as one unit. Makes it easier to get to, which is what I'm going to do. So I got I do with the wrench. Here we go. Seven sixteenths. Already got them cracked loose. These you got to be careful with because been there and done it. You can twist these bolts off straight inside the block. And if you're lucky, you have enough sticking out of the block where you can fight with them. If not, you're really in a pickle. Had it both ways. That goofy dog. Right, come on, there we go. There's one. Let's we'll see what we got. The dog is so silly. I don't have a bit for my drill. Make it easier just to run them on out. There we go. There's our oil drench soaked. This thing stinks muffler so now you can see it's got a big giant phillips i get you know where you can see them now the other one's kind of in the shadow but you can make it out so you got <clears throat> lower one an upper one then your carburetor you have a couple springs up there our main our tanks off so our main fuel lines unhooked you have another one here and is your throttle linkage and you have your throttle spring is up on the other side but it's all easy to get to once you get this loose so let me hunt down a socket real quick and we'll get it off here of course they actually came loose with a screwdriver got the upper hose unhooked so once we get these out and that plate and that metal is toast Deck is so far gone, it's unreal. Okay, so those two are out, so we should be able to pop it loose. I already got this upper hose. I get it to where you guys can see what we're doing here. <coughs> this upper hose just pops right off, there's no clamp. So that's going to leave us with a spring and a linkage. Drop it down, you can, should be able to see up in there and see them. Yeah. So, man, this thing is just, it's been setting so long. Uh, looks like our spring. There's so much stuff on it, you can't even see anything. Right, so the spring apparently is fixed. Came that one. Now we should be able to get the second one. There we go. Man, oh man. I don't know. This carb has seen some better days. You never know, it might still work. And the needle's moving. But uh, that primer is pretty much toast. You can see how cake this thing is. Alright. Everything does move, but uh, take a look, see what we got here. But, uh, yep, so there's the issue with the carb, besides being filthy, you can see, there's our, what's left of our 
O-ring. So, take a look around, see what I got. And, uh, man, this thing is just old. It's from, I think the manufacturer date on this is from 1998. I think I'll double check, but I'm pretty sure. So, look around, see what I got, and see what we can come up with. Alright, so it's back together. <clears throat> Minus this plastic trim piece that goes up here. So, we go to start. I left it off just in case we need to mess with anything on the carb. Did find a new O ring. If you guys can see that muffler, not that thing is like oil drenched, man. Let's see if I can get to where you can see it. But did find an old, a new one, but like new, new. But I forgot I had a man, that thing is just so you can see where I'm just pouring out of it when I had it off. But uh, cleaned everything up with brake clean. I forgot I had an old uh, blower that had uh, the engine was shot on it. But it had a decent carb, so I took, of course, a different design of the carb, but the bowl and everything was the same. So I took the O ring, cleaned everything up, used that O ring on it. I had to change the clamp on the fuel line, it snapped when we got it off. But uh, so now I guess it'll be a moment of truth. I'll get it back down, we'll get it on the ground, and uh, some fuel in it, and we'll see if it'll run and be worth messing with. Hopefully, it's just not wore out, which would explain the oil that's all through the muffler. It could just be. Yeah, you know, the rings could be shot or you know a bad valve or something could knock like crazy, but we'll find out. All right, let's see what we get. It's not a full tank of gas, but it's enough to get let it run a little bit. Remember our primer? I didn't fix the primer. I don't have one for it, so I have to get her fired up off of ether. Hopefully, it's been sitting long enough to get fuel, yes, gravity fed. So hopefully, this thing will at least idle. Right. <sighs> Probably could have done an engine swap on it, not an engine swap, the oil change. Probably wouldn't have been a bad idea. Still runs good. I found the or cleaned the tag off where I can see it a little better down there. It is from I can zoom in on it from uh yeah, I probably can't zoom in enough for you guys to read it, but yeah, maybe. From uh where'd I see that at? Yeah. 1998 safety standards. <clears throat> Craftsman. 917.387360 four and a half horse. This thing runs really, really well. The thing all we had to do was, uh, <coughs> excuse me, freaking science is starting to get over a cold finally. Get it down here where you can see it. Uh, basically, I don't know why. Maybe they had it stored. At some point on its side, these were all, all everything I just got off this guy. Everything was <clears throat> sitting outside, which you can kind of see the deck. I don't know if it's from the way they stored it or wherever they got it, or I don't know if this deck is 
toast. There's nothing left of it, but it has <coughs> good motor. <coughs> so the carb, all we done was took it off. Oh, get it up here where you can see it. Took it off, cleaned it with some uh, brake clean. Had to put that new ring on it, and uh, got lucky and found an old carb that I had on a blowed up blower, and it fit. And uh, for whatever reason, had oil all through the muffler, so I'm wondering. Because <clears throat> if you tip them up like the way I got it now, it keeps all the oil towards the other side of the case, the engine case. But if you tip it like towards me, which I'm not going to do. So if you pick it up from the far side and you lift that side up, it brings all your oil towards your muffler, your carb and all that. So you can get oil down into the system, fire it up and it'll smoke like a train. But uh so maybe at some point that was the case. They just had it to where it was lifted up, leaned it on its side, because it cooked it all out. I blasted it while I had it off with uh, some brake clean, shook it, tried to break some of that up, and uh, just let it sit here and run. It cooked everything out. So our carb appears to be good. The air filter definitely needs replaced. So. That'll definitely get replaced. But the good thing is, why this stuff, while I was cleaning everything, I did look at it on the Amazon. <laughs> well, on the internet period, but the ad was for Amazon. But the 20 bucks, it was a full carb kit. Brand new carb kit, all new gaskets, uh, fuel lines, a spark plug, um, clamps. I mean, it was a full, full um, fuel system kit for this one. It was like $17.99 shipped to your door, but thankfully you won't have to worry about that. But I do got to get this this primer, and you can see the whole front of it here is trashed. It's cracked there, and I believe on the the, uh, the inside right there is toasted. So I have to get that fixed at some point. But uh, so I'm gonna now for this motor. I thought I had a deck that this one would fit, but uh, it's a different style deck. This one will not fit on it. And uh, but we got a good motor, so I'll hunt down a deck. We'll do an engine swap on this one, and then uh, one of these other ones. Hopefully, I got I do have I got two decks, but I need two motors. This one will not work on either one of those decks, it's a the decks are a different design, but uh, I thought it would fit, but different style anyway. So it runs. I mean, this thing's been obviously neglected as far as the deck goes. But uh, that motor runs freaking great. Just needs it needs cleaned up real good. But uh, I'll get it cleaned up and hunt down a deck, and we'll do a swap. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Yeah, definitely a win on the motor.